And finally, and this was, I will tell you as well, in part of the prodding of preservation activists, Mitch Novick in particular, who has kept an eye on the Apollo mural by Jack Stewart. That was a mural that was on the side of the annex, the ugly annex of the Versailles that was demolished. But it was a beautiful mural. And when it was demolished, it was stored and maintained. And we have set about to try to come up with a way of placing it at a location of public dignity and importance so it can be viewed, uh, uh, so it can be widely viewed. And we are proposing a location. Uh, now, ultimately, the city, it's up to the city to decide if this is acceptable. But if we go to the next slide, I'd like to show you our concept. And this is not an inconsequential expense because we have to uh, restore the mural, mount the mural, uh, put it on the, the, the board that it will be sitting on. And our suggestion is taking a look at the 17th Street parking garage, North Face. This is the largest parking garage in the city. It is undistinguished. Actually, it's pretty unattractive to visitors to the city. But this mural, because of its size, requires a very large space. And so we thought that we could restore it and mount it on that parking garage. If ever someday it needs to be removed, it could be removed. But in the meantime, in the heart of the city, we would have a great piece of art by an important public artist. Everyone coming out of the convention center, our Basel, the New World Symphony, City Hall, going down 17th Street to visit the hotels would be able to have a view of this. It's very much sort of like the what Craig Robbins has done in the design district with his garages, turning them into pieces of art and not just garages. And so that, you know, concludes our presentation. I do Thank you, Mr. Gibbs. Uh, Mitch Novick, your next caller. Good afternoon, folks. Mitch Novick again. I want to preface that my remarks only pertain to the reintroduction of renowned artist Jack Stewart's mid-century mosaic mural. Jack Stewart's work can be found in museums and private collections around the globe. He was a close confidant of Wilhelm de Koning, whose work sell for hundreds of millions of dollars. The reintroduction on the parking garage across from City Hall and the convention center won't cost the taxpayers a cent. And moreover, the public, visitors, and residents will once again be able to appreciate and study Stewart's masterful work that was brought here in the mid-1950s. So in closing, I would urge the city to work with this developer in finding a way to quickly reintroduce Stewart's work to our community for those of us to study and appreciate. Thank you. Thank you. Our next caller is Jay. And finally, as far as the mural by Jack Seward, that's something that we, MVPL, have been pushing for years to have that brought back. Uh, but I don't appreciate it, this being dangled as some sort of... Um, uh, a carrot because if you look at the record from five years ago the original approval this that was promised already to restore the mural so Nissan, we appreciate it but please don't use that mural as a, a hostage or a pawn in the game we want to see that mural back but we also don't think the extra height will be sensitive thank you